Hey y'all, it's your man, Big Play Killer Man, TPZ, uh, Coach T, Big Tiger, whatever you want to call me, man, just don't call me Clint. Look, all right, so we got to understand something, y'all. The world is changing. Women, they've been pushing for equal rights, and we're trying to get that as a society, right? So along with that is when women accuse men for stuff, now they're going to really look for evidence. So, ladies, think about it before because they're starting to prosecute women now. Men have been saying this for a while now. Women should get prosecuted if they actually allow the man. And we always know a man, unless you just got a bunch of money, and even if you got a bunch of money now, that's not saving men from getting prosecuted by um if, if all the facts can play out in court. And that's the thing that's happening right now with the technology, with these phones and these cameras. You see a lot of police officers getting caught up now lying because they got the cameras. They got text messages. Same thing is going on. You seen the situation that happened with the people in the two guys in Ohio, the baseball player last year. Uh, a lot of these guys are losing their careers because they, uh, we, we thought it was going to happen with a doku, uh, even though nobody lied on him. What they did was not right. And the information came out, he lost his job. So, things are going to happen. What's, what's happening now is how Doko got caught. They had a camera. They caught him with this Warren Sapp situation. This was back a little 13, nine years ago. I feel like a situation like this, if somebody goes through the process, they do their uh, community service or their time or whatever they agreed to do, you should move on from this, right? The situation with the brick lady, she made it seem like she got attacked by a man. The video showed where she attacked the man and then she didn't get hit with a brick. The man hit her with a water bottle after she had attacked him first. They had other videos when she was slapping people out in the street, twerking broad daylight after she done slapped somebody like with no care in the world. And this is her second time doing this. She done another thing where she said a man attacked her and she did a GoFundMe a few years ago. Now she's doing it again. So. This woman has a history of accusing men of stuff and get doing a GoFundMe, and now she get a lot of people to just buy in. Oh, cause they start putting on heartstrings, and people start feeling like, oh, they have to me. My uncle did this to me, or somebody did this to me. And I understand your situation, your situation. All these situations are not the same. A lot of these people don't have the same kind of heart. It's some stuff that men do that I would never do to a woman. It's some stuff that women would do that you would never do. Uh, something that a woman or women will do to a man that a, some women would never do. So we can't take every situation and say, "Oh, dang, that that's me." Because no, it's not you. That's that person. That person. You we don't know what these people are doing. Let's let the evidence play out. And if somebody has to go do a, a bid or whatever, once they get out from that, you understand. Okay, they served their time. If you had two grown people, grown people get into it about different kind of things. And sometimes we don't have all the evidence. And in those cases, most of the time, the man, he's going to go down most of the times. Now they're starting to get to where if they find out that the lady is not telling the truth, they're going to start prosecuting women, especially if she has a history of this. And that's the only difference. A man don't have to have a real history. If it happens, he's going to get prosecuted. If a woman, they find out, okay, you've done something similar to this before, now they're going to start prosecuting these women. So just be mindful, young men. Young women, if something happens, try to record the conversation. Keep your phone on you. Record ladies. Act like you're calling somebody. Act like you're trying to call your homegirl and hit record on the phone. Record the conversation. So once you go to court or wherever you're trying to explain to people what happened, you can they can hear the man trying to force you to do something you didn't want to do. Um, guys, if, if you see the situation and start, especially if it's starting to get violent, if you break it up with somebody, you're trying to make somebody leave, uh, make her leave your room, your apartment, your dorm room, whatever it is. Understand, if you got it on videotape, it helps. I've seen situations where, where they had people on videotape and they still got off for doing something wrong. But it's best that you have evidence supporting what you're saying instead of not having evidence. Like if you get into a situation and you can tell it's about to get heated, Take your phone out and start recording. Start recording. So now people can see what you was doing and what they was doing. 
when you take the phone out too late, sometimes they don't know well, what happened before you start. You know, once you get down to feel the, the temperature in the room start changing, take your phone out and start recording. So now you can save yourself a whole bunch of time because if you got a, a video showing what happened, now you don't have to go through this long investigation sometimes and you can still go on about your life in a quicker like once the lawyers find out you got video evidence uh, and, and they got uh, recordings, voice recordings of the event, sometimes the lawyers won't even take this case because now you got evidence proving that you're innocent. So ladies and men, your phone can save your life. Your phone can save your life when you get in these situations. Um, and could we as a society, can we just treat people fair? If somebody done something, they serve their time, now this person has wisdom to teach kids. You tell these young kids they won't set out to be there because he has knowledge to help them on the field and off the field. You want people that have been through something that they, now they got a testimony they can actually teach kids. Kids, kids, when they know you've been through something, they give you more, I don't want to call it street cred, but they give you, you have more credibility because they know you've been through the fire. So, He's been through it. He made it through. I'm going to listen to this man. Maybe he can save me from not going through the, having to go through the fire. So that's that's my thoughts, y'all. I hope SAP is on the staff. I hope we can move past this. And I hope we can treat everybody fairly. If you, if you did your time, let's move on. Young men, young ladies, keep your phone on you. When the situation starts to get out of hand, start recording before it gets out of hand. Start recording. When the temperature in the room changes, start recording. It could save your life.